Any predictions yet? What should we be on the lookout for? I couldn't really say for sure. But it'd suck to be KSK right now. Huh? Wait, seriously? Is it a tough downhill? I didn't think it was too bad. No, that's not what I mean. Uh, okay, how should I put this? Tuning your car to tackle a hill climb is good and all, but sooner or later you're gonna have to come back down the mountain, right? Yeah. But unlike others with that kind of tuning, Keisuke's skills aren't limited to hill climbing, because lately he's been driving downhill just as much as he's been driving uphill. Then the same ought to be true for you then, am I right? Well, there is a big difference in horsepower. If we were on a hill climb, the FD would have the advantage over the 8.6 hands down. Hmm. Downhill? Hell, even then the FD would probably give me a run for my money. All things considered, there's not much difference between me and Keisuke when we're on the road. Really? I had no idea. Mm-hmm. Keep an eye on him during practice sometime, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I mean, I'm glad he's improving and all, but I can't say I'm exactly thrilled about it. In fact, I'm kind of getting freaked out. If Keisuke goes all out on the downhill, we're finally gonna see what he's capable of, and I'm worried I might not measure up. somewhere come on old man where the hell are you it doesn't take a genius to figure out your game you're waiting for the downhill aren't you but don't count your chickens just yet you're not the only one on this course who's got a couple of tricks up his sleeve. I gotta keep my concentration. Try not to overthink this, just keep yourself talking. Yeah. Despite what some of you may think, six seconds isn't much of a difference. But still, the FD better catch up soon. If he isn't careful, the GTR might win this thing on the first run. Not to say winning would bother me. That almost seems too easy. Okay, but what if the FD catches up? It's just gonna push the battle into a second round, right? It's not that cut and dried. If the battle hasn't been decided by the first run, Hoshino will be at an incredible disadvantage during the second. I guarantee it. The FD will be able to take the lead somewhere. Huh? You following me? Both the Chaser and the Chase know these are some pretty high stakes we're playing for here, boys. This battle is in a dead heat, and in a race like this, every second makes a difference on this course. Okay, here it comes! Did you see that? He used the other side of the gutter to whip around the corner. That's a pretty aggressive move to make in a GTR, and not to mention dangerous. He must be trying to keep the FD out of sight. Hoshino knows he's got to do everything he can to finish this battle on the first run. Hear that? That's got to be the FD. Whoa, am I seeing things, or did the FD just pull off the exact same move? You've heard that old saying, great minds think alike, haven't you? This is getting pretty tough, and it isn't gonna let up anytime soon. When you're already playing catch-up this early on, you can't afford to waste time out there. I hate when I'm under that kind of pressure. Give me an old-school nose-to-tail battle any day. Yes, found you. Four seconds. It might even be less than that. I know I closed the gap from the turnaround. 
I hope you're ready for this, Godfoot. I'm about to dethrone your ass. Hmm? Man, he's really pouring it on. The kid's better than I thought. I may be an old man, but I'm no idiot. It was only a matter of time before you closed that gap. Looks like it's that kind of battle. Little give, little take. Too bad I'm not in a giving mood. Yeah! Nice try, but you're not losing me again. Oshino oh, must be sweating more than I am right about now. Man, this is getting rough. I can't hold out for too much longer. This kid is pretty good, even if he is from Kunma. Damn, he's catching up. Racing downhill is no easy feat, and he acts like he's been doing it for years. Yes, I'm definitely closing the gap. Man, I'm having a blast out here. I can't remember the last time I felt this good. But it's time to end this thing! I really hope this works. There are just so many different ways this could totally blow up in our faces. I can't help but think there's a reason we've never tried a strategy like this before. Don't get me wrong, Fumihiro. I can totally see what you're getting at. But admit it, if anybody could pull off something this dangerous, it'd have to be Keisuke. Wouldn't it? At best, we have only a 50-50 shot of winning tonight. If it works out like we planned. You can count on Hoshino to be unpredictable. Way too much on the understeer. It's getting harder to keep her steady. Driving a heavier car has finally come back to bite me in the ass. I ought to know better than to overuse the front tires like that. I'm still in the lead. I just want a little more distance between us. See you later, punk! Just one more. One more curve. Now get out of the way, Grandpa! Guys, I think I hear them coming. They're making the final corner. Whoa! Oh, crap! He's too close! Ah, uh, Hoshino. Damn it. I couldn't pull it off. Cool, thanks. Hey, KSK just started the second run. I... I can't believe what just happened. I thought he had a crazy lead. How in the hell did Hoshino not demolish that FD? What went wrong, sir? Gentlemen, there's no need for you to be so dramatic. Hoshino's opponent definitely isn't your typical street racer. He's a worthy adversary. And his skill level certainly surpasses our expectations. Now, I'm not one for doling out compliments, but I'm actually impressed. And that's saying something. Wait a sec. You're complimenting the jerk who wants to beat us on our own course? Yeah, and the guy's already leading on this run. You said it yourself, Joshima. If Project D forces a second run, they have the advantage over us. I'm well aware of what I said earlier. But you have to roll with the punches, boys. 
Kozo Hoshino lives for these moments. This is where you'll get to see him really shine. Here we go! Starting the second run! In five, four, three, two, one! Go! The first run went exactly as planned. No telling how the second will play out. There are a lot of variables to consider. Our opponent in particular. I know one thing for certain. This won't be easy. I get it, you old fossil. You've got better traction than me. What's wrong, ankle biter? Is that really all you got? I mean, I know rotaries are crap, but this is just weak. You can pressure me all you want, but it won't work. I am not letting you pass me. I just have to keep him behind me. At least until the turnaround. If I can do that, this race is mine. He won't beat me on the downhill. The second run started. Sure has. That was insane. I've never seen an FD move so fast on a downhill like that. Looks to me like the purple shadow is officially screwed. Each team has a large car. Passing on an uphill is damn near impossible. They play their cards right, and Project D might actually have a shot at this. They've really thought everything through. Ryosuke's a genius. Yeah, maybe. Huh? I don't know. Something just feels off. What do you mean, something's off? I'm not saying Ryosuke's tactic wasn't brilliant or anything. Not at all. I just find it hard to believe that someone like Kozo Hoshino, a guy who's been in race after race for years, couldn't see this coming. And another thing. He chose to take the lead on the first go. I think he could have won if he pushed it. Maybe I'm being crazy, I don't know. But something tells me that this is all part of a much bigger plan. Godfoot is up to something, man. I can feel it. Yeah, you might be right. He's got to be working some kind of angle. I hear Hoshino is all about strategizing. If there's a way for him to get back on top, he'll find it. Passing on a hill climb is difficult, but it's not unachievable. Godfoot isn't done yet. Not by a long shot. Nice try. I don't care how much power that boat you're driving has. No way you're going to pass me here. I see how you are. Well, two could play at that game. Crap. What's with those guys? If I didn't know any better, I'd think they'd never been to a race before. Wake up, morons. No way Case Kid can lose. Driving on mountain passes sure as hell isn't a cakewalk. And I would know. You'd have to be out of your gourd to try to pass on this course. It shouldn't be too much longer before they hit the turnaround. And once they do, our FD will be in the lead. He'll burn right through here and murder it on the downhill. There's no stopping him. Keisuke's gonna crush that foot god. The turnaround's coming up. We're almost to the top. No question now, I'm gonna win this thing.
Hey, check it out, guys. They're coming around the turn. All right! I've never seen anybody get in the lead by pulling a crazy stunt like that before. Man, the GTR didn't hesitate even for a second. He knew exactly what he was doing. Took one hell of a risk, but it sure did pay off. If Keisuke hadn't reacted in the nick of time, we'd all be standing in burning wreckage right now. Not fair! That guy's a damn cheater! That wasn't chance. Their turns were almost in perfect sync. He only had about a tenth of a second to make his move, but he knew Keisuke would have to widen his turn which gave Oshino the perfect opportunity to regain the lead. Gauging times when you're coming out of corners isn't easy by any means, but I think I've proved it's worth it. I didn't see that one coming. Now I have to pass him. I just got word that Hoshino overtook KSK at the turnaround. <sighs> it's like I thought. Guys like him aren't gonna go down without a fight. What are we supposed to do now? Oshino's got a definite advantage over us. I know. But we'll make do. Keisuke just has to trust his instincts. We're not quite out of the woods yet. But as long as he maintains his focus and keeps an eye out for an opening, he's still got a shot. There are limitless possibilities here. Come on, Hoshino. You've come this far. We can't afford to make any mistakes. Just keep yourself talking. Drifting, huh? Fine, we'll do it your way. What the hell? They said Hoshino got the lead at the turnaround. Yeah! Oh, That's I freaking knew we could do it. <laughs> Man, it yes. doesn't get much better than you this. You hear that? I told you Hoshino was up to something, didn't I? They're coming! Oh. It's a drift on drift! That's unbelievable! That's impossible! Everybody knows GTRs can't drift. Hoshino's a freaking madman trying something like that. I don't get it. What the hell is going on out there? My guess is Hoshino started drifting to see if Keisuke had the balls to keep up. The GTR's tires are bound to be losing their grip by now, which is going to cause some problems in the tighter spots. Understeering has probably already become an issue on corners. I bet he thinks drifting is the best way to control it so it doesn't take too much toll on the front end. Sounds a little hard to believe, but if you think about it, it makes sense. On top of that, this road is pretty narrow, right? If Hoshino was to swing out that GTR, he could block the entire road. Passing would be virtually impossible with oversteering. Nobody could get through that, FD or otherwise. I hadn't intended to pull out the flashy stuff like this. But if that's how the kid wants to play, then I'm all for it. These people came out to see a race. Let's give them one. Something they can tell their grandkids about. They're saying both cars have started to drift. Joshima, you have any clue why he would do that? I don't get it. I thought it was common sense to do whatever you could to save your tires. But both the GTR and the FD are wearing the hell out of them. Hmm. When it comes to being behind the wheel, common sense can sometimes take a back seat to logic. The two of them are alike in that way. We haven't had a dull moment so far tonight. This just keeps getting better and better. Both have something to prove, and either could win. There's a perfectly logical reason why Kozo Hoshino began to drift. Keisuke, however, simply felt the need to follow suit. 
Not surprising. He loves to be stubborn. He'd rather give in to his impulses than to think about this from a logical point of view. Countering a drift with a drift. If there's one thing that Kozu Hoshino and Keisuke have in common, it's their ability to be stubborn to the point of irrationality. That's how this whole thing started. And I sincerely doubt either one of them is willing to swallow their pride and end this. I would imagine you're feeling pretty good about now, Hoshino. But the GTR can't continue to drift like this. You know that as well as I do. From the weight of the car to the wear on the tires, I don't think this race can go on much longer. It shouldn't be too long now. Case K's gotta have an ace up his sleeve. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We don't know anything for sure. Crap! It's veering to the outside on its own!